Hello everybody, Scott Golden with the World Class Championship Wrestling Review Series. We are going to end the month of June of 1987 here, uh, and June 27th. As mentioned in a previous episode, there is uh, less, um, or a missing episode is the June 20th, 87 episode, uh, 87 episode is not on the network, so, uh, we move through... Bear, Bear Collie versus Sweet Brown, Brown Sugar joined in progress. Also a new open, kind of a more skyscraper, graphics-heavy open. Um, anyway, Collie with a backbreaker opening this, um, or this portion of the match, uh, hits a, it tries to hit a big splash, doesn't get it done because uh, Sugar brings the knees up. Guy does the, Sugar does the tip up. Uh, the, almost the up and over without uh, Kali running behind him, which was just bizarre. Uh, Sugar manages a top rope splash and gets the victory there. Then we move to Al Perez and Steve Simpson. Um, very common match these days. And, you know, it is what it is as far as things are concerned. P Perez is your new uh, champion. They don't really go into great detail, but there's a hold up there of some sort, and uh, Perez is your new world champion, um, which is kind of ironic, at least to me, that you know they they make a big deal out of out of this. And uh, anyway, Steve Simpson, the big deal here: um, sh shoulder tackle, headlocks, and very basic stuff. Um, the Arm drags, arm bars by Simpson. Simpson is made to look really good here, and uh, obviously Simpson going to town pretty quickly. Uh, leg scissors, head scissors by Simpson. Simpson gets sent into the corner and gets taken over on pretty quickly. Uh, hard shot across the back, and um, Simpson fights from underneath to get back to his feet. Big knee drop, almost like a Harley race by Al Perez. Perez um, finds himself on the um, receiving end of a backslide. Perez has been well protected since coming into the territory, so that's worth noting. Um, and Perez uh, manages to... I'm sorry, the... The win of the, the championship is not quite here. I, it, it does happen within a few weeks. Anyway, Perez uh, launches um, uh, Simpson over the top rope, almost goes for body slam and sends him over the top rope instead. So disqualification victory for Simpson. Fritz von Erich addresses Brian Adias new hold. Brian Adias bringing back the Adriatic Spike or the Oriental Spike. Uh, that Terry Gordy used. Um, basically, Fritz says that Kevin uh, Von Erich has a plan for this maneuver. Not really quite sure I understand the plan. And then we move to Ted Arsini and the RPMs versus Matt Bourne, Tony Atlas, and the Spoiler in a six-man tag team match. Yeah, not the greatest thing in the world, but it is what it is. Leather jackets for the RPMs. Spoiler with a new blue mask, used to seeing him in red. Uh, Spoiler has been in and out of the territory over the years. I think we, he had better times in the territory before the uh, before the world class run. Although I don't know enough of my '70s wrestling history, um, I, I've really been passionate about learning the '80s. Uh, if there was more, and I'll be completely honest, if there was more 70s footage readily available, I think I'd get passionate about the 70s too. But it's hard for me personally to equate becoming a major fan of something without, uh, you know, the ability to, to, to visually go watch it. If there were 70s shows, and there are some like All Star Wrestling and, and Memphis. 77 through 79 full shows that I could go out of my way to watch, I would do that and, and embrace that. But it's hard to get behind things when you can't put things into visual context, at least for me. Anyway, so this six-man tag team match, in a lot of ways to me, drags a bit. Um, 
we see the cutoff of the ring, tag to Tony Atlas. Atlas comes in with one of the members of the RPMs. Atlas uses power pretty quickly, pretty early, pretty often. Percy Pringle drawing with people at ringside. He's not happy with any of this. Uh, spoiler comes in, um, manages to be in there with uh, Arsini, so that's kind of interesting. Also interesting to me that they aren't pushing a Tony Atlas and Ted Arsini feud, but maybe the thought is the matches wouldn't be good. I don't really know what that is, but if, if it were me... I mean, they do square off and they do do power spots, but I would expect a singles feud out of the two. Um, Atlas gets cut off mid-ring and then sent back to the corner of the heels. Atlas gets beat up for a while. Um, Matt Bourne comes back in the ring and again takes that launching, um, this time, uh, hot shot over the top rope. Arsini's so strong, he's deceptively strong. Um, Bourne making his way back to his feet against one of the uh, RPMs, and, you know, big body slam, Arsini comes back in with Bourne, drops the elbow, Arsini is not great in the ring, he's not, he's not horrible, but he certainly is struggling to learn, referee loses all control, and at a point all six men in, uh, Percy Pringle brought in for his trouble, uh, the baby faces, I think, do get the disqualification victory. And that closes that six-man tag. Al Madrill has a life-changing incident when getting hit with the with the uh, Adriatic Spike, the, the Oriental Spike. He talks about that for a minute, talks about wrestling for several decades and not being able to ever remember being that hurt, that injured. Um, he vows revenge on Brian Adias, etc. and so forth. Tag team match, Eric Emery, Eric Emery and Frankie Lancaster versus the Fantastics. Obviously, the Fantastics are the tag team of the day of the way, and Frankie the Thumper Lancaster, not quite sure I understand the Thumper, unless it's a mocking of JYD's calling himself, th or calling his finish the Thump. I don't, I never understood the Thumper name, but anyway, uh, Bobby Fulton in there, takes over Eric Emery, works the headlock for a few minutes, real basic cutoff of the ring. Um, Emery manages to get some shots in, not to mention some, some elbow drops. Lancaster comes in, um, manages to hit some back elbows. Lancaster and Emery are dominant, and uh, we see Bobby Fulton take the majority of the punishment. I guess uh, Tommy Rogers forgets his trunks because he's out there in jeans. Heels take over. Uh, all four men get into the ring, and uh, we've got maybe two or three minutes left in the program when the Fantastics get their victory. Um, but basically, you know, um, that'll close the month of June here. We'll be back with July and August later today. But uh, in any event, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.